Hi, I'm here with a review of the Surefire E1 Backup. The Backup was initially made as an ultra-compact dual-output flashlight that Surefire developed as a duty light for either plainclothes officers or as a backup light for patrol officers. But other than that, it's a great light for civilian use for outdoor, self-defense, just for everyday use and everyday carry. And I'm going to share some of my thoughts on the light um, with you. This is the newer version of the light. The initial version had a low output of 5 lumens and the newer one that came out in uh, fall of 2010 has a higher output of 110 lumens versus the 80 lumens. Um, I actually own both of them for a short period of time. I initially bought the, uh, the older one then the newer one came out and I went and got that. And I cannot tell the difference between the two lights. Uh, the cases are identical. The difference between 80 and 110 lumens is imperceptible. Uh, in the end, I think I returned the 80 lumen one, but I'm not positive. I called Surefire to see if they could help me discern which was which, and they couldn't help me either. There are no markings anywhere to determine it. Uh, I returned the one that had the lower serial number and that I was pretty sure I had set aside as the 80 lumen one. But point being, if you have the older model, there is not really any big impetus for you to upgrade to the 110 lumen as far as I can see, unless there is something more efficient with the run times that they were able to update with that. Uh, this model does go for 110 lumens at 1.3 hours and uh, 5 lumens for 37 hours. It takes a single CR123 battery. It is very small in your hand. It's only 2.8 ounces. It's 4 inches in length. The bezel is one inch in diameter. It does get a little bit narrower uh, back towards the beginning or towards the uh, towards the tail here. As far as the the lumens go, the five lumens. One of the reasons I got it was for use at the hospital for shining in people's uh, faces and eyes and throats. And really, the five view lumens seems to be about ideal for that. Uh, nine lumens on my Phoenix is too bright, but the five lumens I can shine in people's eyes and they don't seem to mind quite as much. The 5 lumens is also perfect for navigating around in the dark. It's plenty bright at night if you're going around the house, if you're in a hotel, even outside to a degree where you don't need a blindingly bright light, 5 lumens is surprisingly bright. Uh, it does come in two different models, currently this black one and a silver one of uh, identical, uh, identical size and everything else, same price. The case, uh, it's a Mil-spec Type 3 hard anodized aluminum. Like I said, it's black. Starting at the back here, it does have this rubberized forward click design tail cap. It's decently firm to push it. Not firm as far as when you're doing it, but firm enough that I think it won't come on in your pocket, which is one of the problems that I've had with both my Phoenix and uh, Zebra light that I have. So I think it's good from that standpoint. The tail cap here will come off. You can get some replacement caps. You can also unscrew it. It only needs to be unscrewed slightly and it will uh, not lock on. Except for that one time. But point being, it won't come on in your pocket like that. It won't come on in your pocket and die just with a slight unscrewing of the tail cap. Pocket clip, perhaps the best cloth pocket clip of uh, any of the lights that I have. It is smooth, it's bi-directional, so you can either carry it bezel down or bezel up in your pocket. It is, uh, as far as it being bi-directional, one of the other uses for it is if you want to mount it on a hat, like this, and then do uh, you know hands-free and have a light, works very well for that. I've tried it, and it's very handy. Because of the design of the pocket clip, some of the lights have a pocket clip that comes out up here. This one is a little bit lower, so the light will ride a little bit higher in your pocket, making it a little bit easier to grab onto than uh, some of the other ones that ride a little bit deeper. The pocket slip clip itself is very smooth. One of the complaints I have with this Zebra light that I have is that the heat sink is very sharp. I put it in my pocket, the pocket clip is very tight, and I fear that it's gonna rip my pocket apart. With the Surefire, there's a little bit of space on this end, a little bit of space in here, so either direction you put it in, it goes in very smoothly. It's not too snug, it's really just perfect. The head here, it does have some crenellations on it. Hopefully you won't have to actually ever use this to defend yourself by hitting someone with it, but if need be, these uh, crenellations can do a little bit of damage. It's a good size for holding in your hand, 
and those will stick out. Good size, you get to the thumb, uh, the tail cap button, the head here, as I mentioned, it's a uh, single LED, has a clear ref or a uh, smooth reflector. They refer to it as their total internal reflection lens. Produces a pretty tight beam. It has a little bit of spillover, but overall is a fairly focused beam compared to some of the other lights that I have. The uh, head comes off. As I mentioned, it's a single CR123 battery. There's the inside. The threads are not squared off, but they do feel very secure, screwing it on very high quality, both with the head and with the tail cap. Battery, as I mentioned, single uh, CR123 battery. The user interface, it has two separate brightnesses, as I mentioned. It is a tactical type light, so with a single price, it comes on to its full brightness at 110 lumens. And then if you turn it on again, within two seconds, it will come on to the dimmer five lumens. With it being a forward click design, you can also half press between the two, toggling between the two. And after two seconds, it will leave it off for more than two seconds, it will reset back to its initial brightness and will come on to full brightness after two seconds. Carrying it is a joy. It is very light, as I mentioned. It fits very comfortably in your hand because of the pocket clip. It's very smooth. It's really very light and I can carry it around all day and not mind it at all. The case is very smooth. It's not going to snag on your clothes and it is just a joy to carry around. I have no complaints with that. Although there are some smaller lights that you can get these days such as this zebra light which is almost half the size, about half the weight and for that matter about half the price. But I don't think it's constructed nearly as well as the Surefire. Impressions, this is a $139 flashlight retail price. You can find it on the internet for probably closer to 115 or so. You know, is it worth that much? And these days you can get lights that do as much if not more, such as some of the Phoenix lights. I have a Phoenix PD20 that has I think six settings including a strobe and a uh, signaling mode, neither of which I'm really ever sure that I'll use, but they are there nonetheless. It's 190 lumens versus this which is 110 lumens. Uh, and it's about half the price. You can get it for around $60. However, Surefire has kind of, I think, set the standard as far as reputation goes. Their warranty service and support is top notch. It's made in the USA. If you ever need to get a hold of Surefire, they're a simple phone call away. I've actually called them. They are very helpful and easy to get a hold of on the phone. If I needed help with my Phoenix, I'm not sure. I've never tried, but I'm not sure how, how, how easy it is to get a hold of Phoenix tech support if, if they have a US based tech support or if I have to call China. So, it is a great light as far as that goes. It is expensive. If you are on a budget and are looking for something a little bit cheaper, you can these days get a lot of uh, a lot of similar lights that will do as much, if not more, for cheaper. Whether down the road, if that will cause Surefire to bring their prices down some, I'm not sure. I guess what time will uh, time will tell. But overall, it is a wonderful light. I have no complaints about it. And uh, I can carry it every day and no problem. I will go ahead now and move on to some uh, beam comparisons with it so you can get an idea of that. I'm going to do a bit of a beam comparison here. First I have a 2D cell mag light, kind of the old standard. Here it is about 10 feet in front of me. And way out in the distance, you can barely see it, but there is a... Uh, playground. It's out about uh, 7,500 feet or so. Really, you can barely see it. Moving on to the uh, the Surefire. On its brightest setting, it clearly lights up that playground very nicely. If someone was out there coming at me, you could see it. The dimmer setting, I think this is 5 lumens, doesn't quite get the playground, but not too bad for uh, for that dim. Again, the bright setting, pretty darn nice. 